Yo. Fuck it is, man. It's Pell Bellamy and this bitch, you heard me. You niggas matter, nah. Real quick, bro. Real quick, you about to get straight to the beans of rice, you feel me? You about to get straight to it. So, there's a few things I want to get into, right? A few things I want to talk about that's going on in battle rap, but I got to start here, bro. I'm going to keep it a bang with you, bro. Society, bro, society has transformed. Like, niggas, niggas have become the females, and the females have become the niggas, bro. This shit is, like, crazy, like... Is this shit is different, bro. Like, you know how like men are supposed to be at the forefront of society. Like we're the men, we're supposed to be the leaders. Now they push women in that position. You feel me? They, they have pushed women to the forefront. They have pedestalized women, and now they're the leaders, and they're supposed to be the head of households. And I mean, they're supposed to be the breadwinners. And bro, did you know that black women out earn black men? We're the only race of, yo, we're the only race of people where our women out earn us. You can look this shit up, feel me? But niggas, bro, niggas have become very, very emotional, bro. Niggas have become very emotional. A lot of yelling, a lot of, yo, I, cause I, what made me, what made me, what prompted me to say this was I was watching, uh, Caps go at it with a nigga named Boogie Black on on quad shit, right? And bro, when I say that shit was childish, bro, that shit was childish, bro. A lot of yelling, a lot of screaming, a lot of insults. Suck my dick, suck my dick. Yo, bitch, meet me up. We can fight. I'm gonna fuck you up. It's just like these days, niggas only know one way to resolve their issues, bro. And that shit is being glorified. You feel me? Like, bro, y'all arguing because Boogie Black feels as though you did not help his man. He's wrong. Like, we just gonna keep it a bang. We know Caps helped all them niggas, bro. Respectfully, Caps helped all you niggas, bro. Y'all all his underlings, bro. Respectfully. Qua fucking, uh, 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 what's your name? Uh, 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 Harlem Legend. Drizzy to a degree, like, all you niggas, he gave life to all you niggas. Now, Drizzy, of course, he was rocking out with Black Compass Media, but, you know, he wasn't showing his face. He was just doing a radio show, and niggas fucked with him. You feel me? He was funny. He always had, uh, he always had an opinion that people gravitate towards. You feel me? Like, I fuck with Drizzy. You feel me? Cool nigga, for real. So I see why people fuck with him. I mean, and now he got his own channel. You know, he show his face. But I, but even before he stopped fucking with Black Compass, he jumped on Cap shit a few times. You feel me? He was chopping it up with him, like so. Like, come on, bro. Like, like so. Yo was wrong. He was definitely wrong. Like to say his like his man's didn't get helped by Caps and like Caps did nothing for him. He was definitely wrong. But the point is this: it wasn't nothing to argue about. It wasn't nothing to make threats about. You feel me? Like, niggas be goofy in caps. I'm gonna keep it a bang with you. You be you be smacked off them beers and high shit off that weed. You be doing too much sometimes. Respectfully, I'm just gonna keep it a bang, bro. You be doing too much. You feel me? You was very childish on that screen, bro. Like, extremely childish, bro. You be, 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 be mocking a nigga and like, I mean, now, you made some good points. But still, you was being childish, bro. Now, I get it. The nigga is threatening you. You feel me talking about when he see you, you going to do this, and you're f the F word. I can't really say it. I ain't trying to get my channel demonetized. Calling him the F word, and you a bitch, and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. So it's just like we over the internet. It's just like I'm ready to just make fun of you. I'm ready to just crack jokes. I'm ready to pack your dumb ass up. Like, I'm not ready to go back and forth with the, the gangster talk or the street shit, if you will. I mean, so, yeah, but still, bro, like, niggas gotta find another way to resolve their issues, bro. It's just sad that the only way we know how to handle shit is by screaming and arguing and making threats and sucking my dick and when I see you, I'm gonna do this and, like, niggas, niggas come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Like, be a Swiss Army knife, bro. You feel me?
You niggas is butter knobs out this bitch, bro. Y'all don't need no one way to do shit. There's no versatility. You feel me? Same thing with, uh, these niggas, this shit is supposed to be about battle rap. There's the rapper post, made a poll saying, you know, asking if Rosenberg Raw was top tier. Somehow it got to Rosenberg Raw threatening to slap Swamp. Now we know they don't get along, they don't fuck with each other, but why y'all conversation gotta always turn violent? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, come on. Now he did say, uh, 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 your mother, cause Rosenberg Raw made a a, a, a poll saying, who's more disgruntled at this point? None, none, Mike P or Swamp. Swamp has the right to feel like he's being played with. You feel me? Like, so, but to say your mama, like, why do you, why, like, that's disrespect. Why do you feel like you gotta be that disrespectful? You wouldn't want nobody talking about your mother, bro. Why don't you niggas know how to treat people the way y'all wanna be treated? Why don't y'all know how to do unto people as you have people do unto you? Like, why is that so hard, bro? Like, we're grown men, bro. We're grown men, bro. Like, good God almighty, like, you feel me? Like, the only way, the only, bro, the only line of attack you niggas got is being disrespectful and making threats, bro. There's, you know how many ways there is to attack a motherfucker? Respectfully, like, why you think a motherfucker who know uh, uh, jiu-jitsu or a nigga who into MMA and UFC type shit can, can fuck up a nigga who, who just know how to, I mean, get busy with his hands. Because that's all you know how to do. All you know how to do is to throw these. This nigga know how to kick. He know how to fucking knee you. Round out shit. To be, to be, like, he know more than just how to, the nigga can kick and, and swing his hands, head butt you, you feel me? Know how to, know other ways to defend himself, to bob and weave and like, nigga got other skills, he's like, that's you niggas. You feel me, niggas of the day. Like I liken them to just regular novice boxers. Like all you niggas know how to do is one thing, bro. Y'all don't know no other way of attacking a person, but but to let the whole world know what you're gonna do. When I see you, I'ma shoot you. I'ma kill you. Like, bro, it's other ways to attack a man. You feel me? So, he, yeah, you didn't have to talk about that man, Mother Swamp. We know y'all don't fuck with each other. You didn't have, his mother had nothing to do with it, bro. I mean, so you can't get mad at a nigga for saying, you saying some shit that could possibly get you slapped. All right, come on, bro. We got to do better as men, bro. This is why these other races don't respect us. This is why our women don't respect us. This is why we don't respect each other. Because all you niggas do is this, bro. Another video. I was watching another fucking video and nigga got his arm around. That's you niggas, bro. What's up with y'all in this arm around a nigga chest and like the nigga holding your arm like caressing it type shit like what's up with that like y'all see the picture with little baby they put little baby in a sandwich and shit he was hugging one white nigga or hugging some nigga and then what's, what's michael rubin a nigga came behind him and was hugging him from the back and like they had this nigga little baby in a sandwich like what's up with this arm around your chest type shit like so the nigga is some i don't know who the nigga was the nigga got his arm around tay rock you feel me? And he like, yeah, man. Because cause you niggas better watch what y'all be saying, bro. Because I'm a crash dummy. I'm a crash dummy, nigga. I'll crash out on one of you niggas. I'll kill one of you niggas. Bip, bip, bop. Like, and Rob just sitting there just cheesing like, yeah, nigga. I got niggas that die for me, nigga. I got niggas that kill for me. You just as dumb as the nigga who is fucking making threats on camera like both of you niggas is dumb because if you was a real quote-unquote real nigga you feel me you'd be like bro my guy but chill you feel me i know what it is you know what it is like we ain't even you know what i mean but we live in an era where all niggas do is this so it's like niggas telling themselves niggas put all that business out there like nigga will tell you exactly 
what he got and what he will do, bro. Yeah, I got, I'm right now, I'm, I'm on Lakewood and Madison. I got a fucking 32 in my pocket. It's illegal, nigga. I bought it the other day for 250 Three bodies on it. And guess what? If you try me, you're going to be the fourth, nigga. You're going to die, nigga. Yeah, what's up, nigga? Yeah, you see me? You see me? Uh-huh. You see that street sign? Right there. I'm right here. Yup. You see, live. What, what, what's happening? What's where all my niggas at, nigga? Yeah, and I'm about to go into the trap. My niggas in there bagging up dope. And you feel me? And we getting money out here. And if one of you niggas try me, we're going to kill you. Fuck you, red ass niggas. I'm a... Nigga that told dude, nigga that told all his business and then when the police come ten minutes later and lock your dumb ass up, you, you niggas over here right. You niggas over here telling this shit. Bro, you out you telling on yourself. You niggas be so fucking in a rush to put all your business on the internet because you niggas care so much about looking like a real nigga instead of being a real nigga. Fuck is you geeking for? Nigga said, bro, nigga said, I'm a crash dummy. I fuck around, crash. I was one of you, nigga. Bro, you think that's cute because you a crash dummy? You do. The fact, the fact that the word dummy is in it says everything. You just a silly nigga. You just dumb, bro. You, you willing to risk your life and freedom to protect a grown fucking man. So, this is like, I'm just giving you examples of dumb shit. You niggas are like women. Y'all talk too fucking much. Y'all talk too fucking much, bro. You just, you just yapping. And you tell a whole, like, you, why are you telling people what you're going to do? A nigga that's, listen, a nigga that's going to do something ain't going to talk about it. Because they know what they about to do and they not trying to get charged. They not trying to go to jail. Like, they not trying to get caught up. They don't want nothing you nothing, no type of trail that can lead back to them when this shit go down. So it's like, I ain't saying nothing, nigga. I don't need you to know I did something, bro. Okay, good, bro. I don't need the world to know that I did something. What are you talking about? I don't need you to know I did something. Because I'm not doing it for that purpose. You niggas are like women, man. You niggas are like women, good brother. Stop what you're doing, man. Stop what you're doing. All right. It's a peasy world. You did this matter or no?